All right, everyone, we are back. And without any other ado, let us actually do the uh, Cassandra's uh, quest right there. So, okay, so Cassandra is absolute, that's good. Uh, I think I actually will take Varric and Vivienne. Yeah, like this. Varric, you know, uh, like po possibly the moral support for the Cassandra and Vivienne. She needs to unleash her power once in a while. You know what I mean? So let's see what this is all about. Ah, okay, so... Ah, interesting. It even has its own... Ow, too bright for my eyes. Yeah, Oswin. Odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? Uh, might not be by choice. He might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. Okay, we've got several passes from what, what I can already see. And it's a two layered uh, map. Ah, I see, so... It's more like having uh, two entrances. Yeah, it's just two entrances. Interesting way of putting it. Okay, so that door looks like the only entrance in there. Was that the case? Let's just... Load the crap out of these uh, bags. All right, time for us to enter. So I'm not that scared. You can deal without me, right? Whole thing. Promises. I should have known. The Order of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. What strange beliefs? What kind of strange beliefs? They believe they are seekers. The only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes. The world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why not deal with them? Why haven't the seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Well, it's always cultists. Cultists? Why am I not surprised? This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. Well... Nothing in the cells. Alright, so... 
something is on the upper level as well. Dead seeker. A seeker. Did they torture him to death? The promises will pay for this. Let's find the key, I believe it's here. As the seekers of truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Magister Calpurnia, leader of the Venatori. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? Well, he'll betray them first, that's for sure. Corypheus will probably betray them before they get their chance. But after he gets what he needs out of them. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. Why are Seekers resistant? The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts. But the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. So you really want to know? Do you really want to keep looking? What we find might not be pleasant. I do not shy away from unpleasant things. I must know. Right, so we came from this direction. Something there. Well, it looks like that's where we need to go, but that's not how it usually goes with me. First is the loot. Oh, I thought I I could um, be should be able to climb up there, but once again, this uh, area w uh, possibly would look like the cakewalk. And you guys probably have already noticed uh, the shield that I give her, like. That's one of those unique shields that I bought uh, in the uh, Skyhold. The Mage Stamper, whatever it's called. Well, doesn't matter. The main thing uh, here really is that she, al uh, she also ga uh, gains the guard uh, not only from the weapon I've created for her but also from the shield so she uh, should be pretty much always under the under the regard and I am more than uh, pleased with uh, such development all right that's all there is to it for the moment so Okay, I'm still in a lower level there, though.
All right. Once again, be because it's a level 11, so it's a cakewalk for me. Before we proceed, let's loot first. Please just give me more malachite for crying out loud. Alright, so it's just, uh, it's just a double door which leads to the same room. With that being the case, let's loot it all first. I am in a dire need uh, for money. I can uh, tell you just that. Like, uh, buying uh, those two artifacts were not cheap. Like, shield, uh, that was the perfect. Uh, perfect uh, use for the Cassandra, but uh, like, you know, the anti-dragon axe. Not quite positive that the bull uh, would be the one to wield it from now on, but like the weapon... Uh Daniel! Daniel! Can you Ooh. hear me? Is you? You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No, they put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. Why would they do this, though? What could they hope to gain from this? Our powers. Revenge. Who knows? The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here. One by one. An important mission, he said. Lies! He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. Was this an envy demon? Could it have been the demon from Therinfal? No. The demon came later. But a demon couldn't simply take his place without anyone noticing. The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... came here. He's a dead man. If we find the Lord Seeker, he's dead. Wait. Don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius. Oh, this is exactly what we will be doing. And... From the looks of it... Ah, now we are on the upper area.
Oh, really? Ah. Yeah, I thought there was, uh, were some kind of... I'm busy here. Alright, that's where we came from. Alright, broken tower. Gotta be close at this point. Alright, we're close. Just uh, just final double che check in. Alright, I think we're good to go. Lord Sika Lucius. Cassandra. With a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. And you are the traitor. And you're the man who betrayed his own order. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago. As you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world. To make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi, a war that will see no end. So you help Corypheus? And aiding Corypheus is supposed to help. Corypheus is a monster with limited ambition. And your ambition is so much greater. We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. Yeah, he is insane. He's completely mad, isn't he? Lord Seeker, what you've done. I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. <laughs> Seriously? He was insane. He had to be. Perhaps the Envy Demon's influence? Remove the Lord Seeker so it could take over the Templars. Well, if so, it worked. If so, the plan worked perfectly. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this book of secrets. Sure, let me just... Uh, take a final... Sw uh sweeping so I make make uh, make sure that uh, I'm not missing anything like this money
Yeah, once again, this was a nice little adventure, though not as exciting. Not as exciting as uh, the previous ones, I'll be honest on that part. <clears throat> so, what's in the book, Cassandra? from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition and now it falls to me dry reading let's um That's a lot of not very exciting reading apparently do you know what the right of tranquility is the last resort used on mages in the circle leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Is that what, uh, what the book says? Does the book say it was used for other things? No. As a seeker, I looked into abuses. Mages made tranquil as punishment. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. Well, why keep it hidden, though? Why keep that knowledge a secret? We created the right of tranquility. I told I you of my vigil, the months I spent emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry. Not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. What else is in the book? You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? I don't know. I can't foresee the future, Cassandra. But we know the past. Those who do not heed history are doomed to repeat it. How would you rebuild, though? If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. Your face has been shaken, though. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. Honestly, it is up to you here. 
That's not for me to decide, Cassandra. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. Well, that was an interesting distraction, I gotta admit it. So just... What I wanna do before uh, proceeding, uh, let me actually uh, do uh, finish those uh, two little operations and after that Mm. All that would be left for me really is uh, go into the cave again and try uh, wrapping this up. Okay, first of all, this. both operations are complete and we are about to gain yet another influence even though the previous one was so like recently I'll put it this way Where, uh, something you wanted to talk about no never mind Carry on. You still don't want to give me your personal quest, I take it. So, at any rate, guys, uh, let us actually... I'll see you guys in a sec, so we can actually finish exploring this cave right there. I'll see you all in a sec.